Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, this is my head that I got off of a RSX Type S, and it actually needs new valve guides. So naturally, I went to YouTube to uh, you know see if I could find a video on someone who's done this already on how to do it yourself. Can't find anything for this specific head, but I did find other videos. So you know, I wanted to give it a shot myself, but. I'm not going to try experimenting on this head because I don't want to damage it. So I have the actual uh, original head that came off that K24 block. Okay, so this is this is garbage already. I don't need it. So um, the first method I tried was uh, was drilling out the guide, you know, drilling out the center, and then I tapped the guide to fit this uh, bolt so I tap the guide to fit this bolt right here and then you thread in the bolt and you put this socket as a spacer spacer so once you start uh, tightening up this nut essentially you're trying to pull the guide out of the head uh, problem I had with this method right here is I didn't tap the guide all the way to the bottom I you know maybe got half an inch maybe less than that that I tapped uh, and put the bolt in so once I got to enough pressure on that it actually just you know snapped off in pieces and right here this one the whole head just snapped off like a whole you know quarter inch of it so this method right here we're trying to pull the guide out might work for you if you uh, tap the whole guide all the way to the bottom so this might work for you uh, I didn't like it I actually hurt myself a few times trying to do it um, and I just gave up on it okay so maybe you might have better luck with that but I didn't like it at all another method I found was okay, let me get you a better shot of this Okay, so what I did here was I tapped out this guide just to fit this uh, 10 millimeter bolt in here. And the 10 millimeter is, uh, is slightly larger than the diameter of the, of the guide. So it was very easy to tap it. You didn't, I didn't get much resistance from the, the tap and it, it was very easy. And then I just ran the bolt in and I tightened it up. So that was already way ahead of the other method because that was a pain in the butt to try to tap that. This one tapped out very easily, no drilling, just so you got that. Now let's go ahead and flip the head over. Okay. So the reason for putting that bolt in there, the 10 millimeter, is now you have something. Let's see. Okay. So now you have something to stop because my, my initial plan was to put the valves in here and hit it. So once you put the valve in, you have something to stop the valve from going completely through. And then I started hitting the valves. And yeah, the guide started to move a little bit. You know, it started to come out. But the problem I ended up having was the valves are bending. So what I do, I go ahead and put another valve in. And same thing with this valve. It just bent. Now obviously if you're going to reuse your valves, your valves, do not put your valves in here and do not hit them with a hammer. You will damage them, as you can see. I'm only doing this because I have brand new valves and I don't plan on using any of these. So, you know, keep in mind, I'm just trying to find a method that works. So once I have a good method, I could actually go and try it on my head over there. So that's why I'm just experimenting here. Um, so once I seen that these valves kept bending, my next plan was uh, to get some support in the middle. So I grabbed two sockets. One's a, the deep one is a 5 16 and the short one is a quarter inch. And now they have this support in the, in, the, in the center, so when you put the guide or the valve in, 
and now when I hit on this valve right here with a hammer it's not gonna or it's not as prone to bending as these were because now it actually has some support in the center from you know the sockets and uh, let me show you how far I've gotten with this okay so that's the guide that I'm actually uh, hitting out and you see how far it's gone and that's one I haven't touched so yes I have not taken the guide out yet but as you can see it is working now let's go ahead and flip the head over again and again this is a this is the valve guide that I have not touched and this is the one that I'm taking out you can see how much it's it's come out already so this uh, this is an effective way and the easiest way that I've found to pull these guides out um, and that's pretty much all I want to show you guys since I can't really find a video on this I just decided I'd make one you know obviously I'm pretty sure someone might be interested in finding uh, this type of information so I'm gonna try this a few more times on, on this head and once I could uh, successfully extract the valve guides and uh, I you know pretty much get it down pat so I know I'm doing it right without doing any damage to the head then on that I'll actually go over there and uh, extract the valve guides on the head that I am using but uh, yeah this method does work um, so yeah uh, I hope you like my video hope you subscribe and uh, thanks for watching